monitoring those fires just seems, I mean, it seems like overnight almost they popped up. I know they've been so yeah, explosive. Explosive growth today. We've been mm -hmm. looking at winds that are only a fraction as strong as they're going to be this weekend. Sunday is a day where you see this map just light up. There's a clock in the upper right and it shows the different red flag warnings we have today, tomorrow and Sunday, which is going to be the windiest day up to the north near the campfire winds here will gust at 30 miles per hour at times on Sunday mainly during the day we're still looking at gusty winds of course right now in Southern California so up and down the state critical fire weather that is getting worse through the weekend this weekend visible satellite during daylight hours today showing the huge amount of smoke coming out of the Woolsey and Hill fires down to the south up here to the north a huge plume of very thick smoke people in the Bay Area look outside their windows go outside and think there is a fire in their neighborhood it is that thick and taking a look at the latest satellite detection it's going to take a moment for computer to pop it up here a lot of data but you will notice that in the last six hours which is indicated by these red readings here past 6 to 12 hours is yellow and then the past 24 hours is the orange. They have actually jumped past the last published fire line here. So the last published fire boundary is actually closer than where the fire has been moving right now. So through the day you have seen that it crossed over here into Park Hill. We are looking at explosive growth on the north of this through the night last night uh, and early this morning. The growth was in this direction toward Chico, but a wind shift later through the day today has pushed that growth back to the north, and that's what's going on right now. But overnight, once again, we'll see another wind shift where that will push that to the south. Now on to the south where those other fires are burning. This is kind of a two-in-one here because you have the Woolsey Fire on this side of Thousand Oaks and the Hill Fire over here uh, on the uh, Oxnard side. And through this growth of fire, you can go all the way down to Malibu to see where that growth has occurred in the last six hours here. So really critical explosive growth here on the Woolsey fire there on the east side of Thousand Oaks. It is looking very critical throughout the state. So those red flag warnings meaning a lot through the weekend this weekend. Air quality right now influenced basically because of the flow that we've been looking at from the northeast. That puts the heaviest smoke away from the park fire along California's north northern coast through the Bay Area and leaving us here in some moderate air quality. But uh, a closer look here just shows uh, a dark map that uh, I have not seen in quite a long time. Closer to home, we will see more and more of that smoke filter in. There's more and more of it produced every minute, and that will be part of our weather through the next few days. Outside right now here in Fresno, we have clear skies and 64 degrees, and today's high was 73. Compare that to the average of 60. You can see we're still on the warm side, warm side even at this hour at 64 degrees, and we are staying dry through the next several days. In fact, your entire extended forecast remains dry here. There are a few clouds coming in as we go through the middle of the week next week. That's mostly sunny slash partly cloudy. It won't be fully partly cloudy for too long on Tuesday and Thursday. Temperatures not affected too much. We have to wait some 10 days from now to see our next possibility of rain here in Central California. And it's looking like just a possibility suggested by the long-term computer models, but they were saying the same thing last week. They were saying the same thing the week before. It, you're just waiting on that first heavy storm system to drop in. That usually gets a, a kick to those computer models because they don't really know where to put things until they've seen some in the cycle develop. Okay. So we are awaiting that with fingers Starting crossed. Starting point. Yes. yes. Okay, Justin, thank you so much for keeping an eye on that for us. Well, hey, Saturday Night Live welcomes another first